Uh, first question, uh, two top candidates for the elections are current president Milos Zeman and Yirshi Dragos. Um, we know a lot about uh, Zeman, about his political figure, but uh, Drahoš is kind of new political figure for Czech Republic. Please tell more about his political views, about his program, and what is actually behind him. Well, I would call um, Jerzy Drahoš uh, as uh, someone who represents uh, so-called anti-Zeman candidate for most of the Czechs. Uh, He's a former head of the Academy of Science, uh, Science in the Czech Republic, uh, Academy of Science, uh, someone who is well respected as a scientist uh, and uh, a figure that you know was in, in touch with many politicians during uh, uh, his ten tenure as a, as a head of Academy, Academy of Science. Uh, but he's not someone who was active in, in the politics. Uh, he began um, his campaign a year ago, clearly on the wave uh, of uh, someone representing an alternative to the current president. Uh, many Czechs were simply disgusted, uh, disappointed by by the moves of the current president, Miloš Zeman, and they they looked for someone who is. Uh, more gentle, uh, who, who is someone with more respect and dignity, and who is not a divisive figure. And I think Drahoš, for many people, is more of a pragmatic choice. They don't want to see Zeman continuing in the, uh, in the presidency uh, after January. So they vote for Drahoš, not just uh, being the ideal candidate, but being someone who is most likely uh, able to, to beat Milo Zeman. So we can say that his political views are like more pro-European, Europe domestic, like pro-migrant views. So uh, what are his political main views? What is his program and like core ideas of his uh, pro-election program? In the Czech Republic, uh, the president is more kind of representative figure, though he has some... Um, some authority as well. But I think the main theme of the Czech presidential elections at the moment uh, and the fight between Drahoš and Zeman is more about representing the state uh, with some kind of dignity, without uh, rude words, without any embarrassing moments that we've seen with uh, Miloš Zeman. Zeman stated at the beginning that he's also more pro-European, uh, that he would be... Um, distinct from its predecessor, Václav Klaus, who was uh, highly critical and highly skeptical about the European Union. In fact, what we've seen was kind of um, a very strange overture with, uh, uh, you know, Russia and China and so, etc., but also very embarrassing moments related to the domestic issues, uh, uh, using slang language uh, in many uh, many interviews, uh, attacking media, attacking uh, part of the academic, academic uh, environment, uh, being in constant fight with some of the groups that uh, his, he, Miloš Zeman, and his spokesperson, his circle, uh, deemed uh, as being enemies, him and what, whatever. So Jesi Drahoš is someone, uh, and the, the main theme is uh, about the dignity, about restoring respect and faith uh, into the position uh, of the Czech president. For many years we've been observing how uh, Russia wanted to influence uh, political processes in the Czech Republic. Uh, do we see Russian presence in this election campaign now? And if yes, what is this influence and presence? There was, uh, as in many other countries uh, uh, in Europe, uh, there was a clear fear that Russia would try to disrupt or influence uh, the presidential elections that we uh, that we have uh, in January, but also the previous ones, the parliamentary elections that we had in the autumn uh, last year. Um, there were no visible attacks uh, that could be detected by the intelligence community. Uh, what raises fears and what raises doubts uh, and criticism is unclear background of many people who surround Milo Teman 
and uh, uh, quite uh, vague uh, statements on the finances uh, uh, that uh, come in support of uh, Milo Zeman. There's a huge uh, election campaign, I mean, posters and other other uh, advertisements in favor of Milo Zeman, though he officially declares he doesn't have any campaign. There's an unclear background of people who pay for it. Uh, so this is something that is uh, that raises the biggest fear and that is connected or might be connected to Russia, according to some reports and intelligence experts. During this campaign, we haven't seen a strong presence of Andriy Babish or his political party, ANO. Uh, for what re reason and what is actually his role, Andriy Babish, in this uh, electoral campaign? Andrei Babish and his uh, ANO movement, uh, they will announce uh, uh, their presidential candidate on Thursday. Uh, there are guesses and estimations that they will support uh, Melo Zeman. Um, although there's a big tension within the ANO movement, uh, half of the movement uh, agrees with its leader, Andrei Babish, that they have to support Melo Zeman because it's the best option for ANO movement, second half of the movement says that Milo Zeman is simply not feasible candidate anymore. But uh, Andrei Babish is quite pragmatic politician. He has a big trouble at the moment in two lines. First line is obviously that he has to uh, form a new cabinet and there are less and less uh, coalition partners uh, willing to join a coalition cabinet with Andrei Babish. So he's in trouble on the government side, but also in tr trouble on the private side because there's a big uh, investigation into um, some kind of fraud that was related to Andrei Babish in the past. As a businessman, he has a, a alleged misuse of European funds uh, for the construction of his uh, of one of his, one of his homes uh, near Prague, uh, so there's a big trouble just be before the presidential elections for him. Also on the private side, there's a parliamentary commission set up. Uh, he might be handed over to police uh, um, to investigate this matter. And uh, in this case, Melo Zeman is most likely uh, someone who will support uh, Babish if. Babish will support him before the elections because Zeman is able to help him with uh, forming the coalition government or at least giving him much more time for, for, uh, for forming the coalition. And secondly, Melo Zeman, though it's an estimation, it, it might be too far, but uh, uh, he's able to amnesty uh, Andrei Babish just in case he needs, needs it. Uh, in the criminal investigation. Melo Zeman uh, gives very much public support to Andrei Babish uh, in the recent past, uh, and I think the alliance uh, Babish Zeman will, uh, will last. In your opinion, will it make any difference and will it make the strong difference in these elections? Um, perhaps with their support, Zeman will have uh, more points against Drahoš, or like it doesn't matter. Oh, who will they support for, for uh, uh, average citizens of Czech Republic? Well, just, just remember that ANO is uh, the strongest political movement in the Czech Republic, so it will definitely make an impact. I don't know how big and uh, how big difference it will make in the final uh, decision of the voters, but it will definitely give a boost uh, to Milo Zeman if uh, Andrei Babish uh, visibly and publicly supports him as a presidential candidate. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there's a clear uh, division also among the, the people uh, uh, towards Andrei Babish. He's more controversial figure as Milo Zema. So his appeal or appeal of his movement might be smaller than was than, than was before, but obviously it will be. It, it will be boost for Milo Zeman should Andrei Babish uh, approve him uh, on Thursday and his movement. 